Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video what we have is we have a brand new update for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Now this is going to be for the stable One UI 6.1 version. This is not for the beta. So let's see what's going on over here. It is a large update. It is almost 500 megabytes. You can see if I go to my setting, it says software update is available. I'm going to go all the way down, go to software update. I'm going to tap on download and install. And you can see we have a security update that improves the security and we have the usual with device stability improvements, bug fixes, new and or enhanced features and further improvements to performance. We're going to go down. You can see it is for One UI 6.1 Android 14. It ends in AYB3 and the size is 433.36 megabytes. Now based on your location, it might vary a little bit. It might go up to as high as 500 megabytes. But the big thing is we have the security patch level March the 1st and we do have some critical security updates. So let's install this. I'm gonna show you what's going on. We'll be right back. And by the way guys, there's a major Samsung smartphone sales event live right now. You can click the link down below to check it out. There are thousands of dollars in savings for the latest Samsung Galaxy smartphones and many other products, flagships, mid-range. So click the link down below to check that out if you are in the market to upgrade your phone. All right, so we're back. You can see it says software has been updated. Now I do wanna let you know that on top of this update, there's multiple other updates as well. So we're gonna look at those. Now let's go to the settings real quick. I do wanna show you guys the security situation and go all the way down, go to about phone, and then let's go over to software information. At the bottom, you can click Android security patch, all right? Once you do that, you go to Android's website, you scroll down and you tap on read, and then we're gonna go over to Samsung. Now, if you look over here at the top, it gives you a summary of the patches that were applied uh, for March. You can see this is a very important update because we have a whole bunch of critical security patches and also a whole bunch of high risk security patches. In fact, we have nothing in the moderate for this update, but this right here is very important. So this update needs to be done to get the latest security. If you scroll down, you can get the details on what exactly was patched and how it was affecting your system, okay? So that's that, that's the security, very important. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings you wanna scroll down and go into privacy and security, which should be right here, security and privacy. Okay, and go to updates and make sure the Google system update is also up to date. Now mine says January the 1st, uh, it's not working for some reason. It should take me to the Google Play system update, but it's not doing that. Let's see what happens if I quickly restart the phone. All right, so I did restart the phone and one thing I noticed after this update is when I restart the phone and it comes into this area right here, it is pretty quick, okay? So it logs in, it restarts and logs in very quickly. So that's just one observation. But let's go to the settings and then go over to security privacy, updates, and tap on this one. Okay, there we go. Uh, it says checking for update. It is available, so let's do that as well. I'm gonna tap on download and install. That is 49 megabytes. It's also gonna bring up security to its latest version for Google system update as well. Now, once this update actually installs, you do have to restart your phone. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. All right, so the phone is back. We have restarted. I'm gonna go back to my settings, okay? And then if I go down, take a look at this. Now, when I go over to my updates right here, it is gonna say February. So that is the latest system update. And of course, we don't have any more updates that is great. So that's another update that you wanna do. And then finally, you want to go into the store, the Galaxy store, all right? And tap on the menu and go into the updates and make sure everything here is in fact updated. Uh, in my case, nothing important, but there were some important updates that I just did before I shot the video really quickly. So there were a bunch of updates here, uh, those were, Samsung system updates, Samsung app updates that you just need to get done. 
again to uh, bring the phone to its maximum capability. Now beyond that, one thing I have noticed is that the phone has become just slightly more snappy after this update. Okay, you can let me know down below if you have noticed something different. Just drop a comment down below. And one thing somebody asked me before was when you go to the store and you update the apps, they said, does it update all the apps in here? And the answer to that question is no. If you want to update all the downloaded apps that you do from the Play Store, you have to go to the Play Store, tap over here, manage apps and devices, and you're going to see them right here. You can see it says updates available, and I can tap on details. It'll show me all the updates. I'm just going to tap update all. If you don't do this, you might, uh, you know, get left behind. Oftentimes, a lot of people have this set to manual, so check this periodically as well to have all the apps, system, security, up to date across the board. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.